Do you want more? See, that, I think I'm going to give you a smidge more. If you want to have a conversation, we put all... some ice in there. Okay. Is it? Do you want more? Like passing out. Okay, this is no, good. No, it's good. It's good. All right, let's go. I want to sit in the barn. You know what I've said to Sophia? That um, the clock is ticking, that you only have a finite amount of time. Mm -hmm. You're going to be much more stingy with it. You're not going to hang out with dodo birds. You're not going to do this. You're not going to waste time on right. the wrong person. I think young love is a temporary form of insanity. So you do things <laughs> that you may regret. So I'm here to prevent that. The average life expectancy is around 72. Uh-oh. That comes out to 3,900 weekends. Wow. That's it. That's all That's you got. That's it. Because when you really become aware of it, then you become precious with your time. Anyway, so I'm glad if I depress you. Oh. Well, I depress myself. I know. But, but I enjoy being depressed. That's when I come creative. That's when you come to creative. That's, that's when, when I do my little... best writing or painting. Mm -hmm. When I'm happy, that's the last thing I want to do is lock myself but in I some But I feel room. like you've gotten happier as you got older. Yeah, I have. Can I take some credit for that? Okay. A little bit. No, I, yeah. I, you're right. Well, you've always been really nice and balanced. Because you can't have two unbalanced people in a relationship. You have to have someone that kind of keeps everything calm and balanced so you can be creative. Jennifer, she's impossible not to like. I mean, she just does everything right. She's a wonderful businesswoman, fantastic mother, wife, even takes care of the dogs. Sorry about that, Buster. And the fact that she could <laughs> take care of me, she should win the Nobel Peace Prize. You know your biggest flaw, Jennifer? What? You're too nice. I'm too tall. <laughs> and too tall. I'm so happy that you came over. Me and too. I mean, I was thinking back, you have known Sly for now 35 years. <laughs> Just as long as you have. Listen, you were on what? Our first date? No, the first date. I was date there the night you met. met. And first, first date. date, like second date. I remember you. We met at a restaurant. Right. I remember vividly the first time I met Jennifer. I was in this dark restaurant, with a few people. And it's you and I, and we've never gone out in Hollywood really before. She came in and oh, something happened. I'll I never forget seeing his face when he saw you for the first time. I witnessed it. I just felt like this jolt, like, oh, did we just have a minor earthquake or something? Like, <laughs> We just hit it off. It was crazy. Like, we were inseparable all night. And remember, we went to that club downtown? That third wheel. <laughs> you were the third wheel. But you were a great, lucky third wheel, Kirsten. I said, why don't we go to a club or something? She goes, uh, uh, okay, but I'll, I'll follow you over. I, I, you know, I just want to be in my own car. No, he's like, come in the limo. We're like, no, we're no, good. We're good. I've got the Dodge Duster parked we back. <laughs> we'll follow you we there. We got it. So I walk outside, and she has this Dodge Duster primer colored missing one headlight. The speedometer didn't work. The speedometer work. didn't work. The gas gauge didn't work. And a gas rag hanging out of the back like a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> I was like, yeah, because I don't have a gas cap. Things, as they say, happen when you least expect it. Nobody knows what life is going to bring. And then 35 years later, you look at your beautiful family and you realize you're the luckiest son of a bitch in the world. What are you doing on my side of the bed, by the way? Scoot. Scoot. <laughs> You're going that side. This is my side. All right. You're making it all hot. How was your lunch, honey? Melancholy. Yeah. It was great. It was happy. It's depressing. It's a lot of things. You know, it's one of those mixed lunches. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about, you know, we're making this big move, yeah. whether it's the right move. Yeah. I want to be sure if we're going to leave California. Yeah. They were making the right move because this has great ramifications. Let's say it doesn't work out. It's like, now what? The house that we love, that we mm -hmm. have built, gone. And if we go to Florida, guess what? We don't know anybody. We talked about moving in the past, but he always probably thought that we were just dreaming and it was never really going to happen. Now that it's really happening, I think he's a little nervous, but I know that I am committed to making this move to Florida. I have no doubt in my mind. I think that this is going to be a really good start for both of us. We can make new memories, new beginnings, and if we don't love Florida in a few years, guess what? 
California is still going to be available. We can still move back. <sighs> I'm not easy to live with. Jennifer's made an incredible amount of sacrifices over the years. I know deep down inside, no matter how I'm feeling, I owe it to Jen to go through this move, without a doubt. If you can leave, who am I to complain? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. We can yeah. do this together, honey. Okay. And being empty nesters, we can get into a lot of trouble together. How'd you get so smart? <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'll be right there. Okay, okay. Don't go anywhere. All right, all right, all right. I haven't golfed in a long time. Oh, just stop, uh, right please. away with the excuses. Stop. Topped it. Harlan. What's the trick to get the balls out? Oh. Rip your hips. Win. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, guys. They're all putting helmets on. <laughs> I actually taught him golf in the beginning. I said, after he finished playing polo, hey, how about playing golf? And he said, no, that's not a cool sport. And I said, well, go, let's go to the driving range and let's see how cool you are. He couldn't hit a ball. And from that minute on, was he would, he's been playing golf for the last, what, it's 35 so... years? We had our honeymoon on a golf course. That's so I not was romantic. <laughs> I cannot believe this is our last it is. meal in California. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is our final moments in Los Angeles. This is more difficult than I thought it would be. Are you a little sad or how I, are you, I, you, you, know, you get a little wistful. You go around and take mental pictures of the place and then... You move on. You take that proverbial leap into the abyss. <laughs> I want to go pack. Mm. Okay, I love See you. See you soon. I love you See too. See you in a minute. You got it. Even though I've been planning on this move for a while now, it doesn't seem real. All the memories that we've made in California is really gonna be hard to leave. Where are you going? I'm going to school. Clap your hands. Good girl, yay! Hey, Sophia. We've had so many great birthdays and holidays, and it is gonna be very, very hard to say goodbye and not have a home to go home to when I'm back in LA. Today. Can we have one last family hug? Of course. It's okay, Mama. Just take it all in. I love this house and I love the memories we made in it. I know. It'll be great for you. I know. I know. Let's get on that horse and ride, okay? California. Hey, Sly, what do you want for dinner? Uh, meatloaf. I think I have some meat. Done. Can I be excused? No. <laughs> you big loser. Hey, hey, hey. your pants are falling down. Icy hey, London, Icy France, Icy Sly's underpants. Oh, this Woo! Is <laughs> you know. Hey, listen, I heard that Frank is thinking about going to New York because he may have a gig there and he wants to go check it out. Yeah. And I think it would be a great idea mm -hmm. if Frank stayed with the girls. Why is that? Because, you know, he's all Isn't, alone. Doesn't New York have enough problems? <laughs> <laughs> now that we're settled into our new home in Florida, I want Frank to have that closeness with the girls, even though they live in New York and he's still in L.A. I also want him to know that they're his family and they're going to take care of him. He can help take care of them. What do they think about that? Give him a call, see what's up. Hello? Hey, Birdie. I'm here with your dad, by the way. Hi. So Hi. Frank is thinking about going to New York and we were thinking that Frank stays no, with you guys. No. I Why? totally agree. Where do you we offer our home to literally everyone on the planet. Sistine, you have plenty of space. You have two couches. He will be fine. I think it's nice. He'll you know. be there in two days. Oh, you're so rude. You just hung up on him. Right. Oh, 
no, no, you're too soon. What are you doing? You've always said, last time we were in Rome, I'm always working, not romantic enough, this and that. When in Rome, do as the Romans. So I say, we take a Roman shower. <laughs> a romantic bathroom night? And I'm looking around going, there's like 10 other people in this room. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not serious. You've got to be kidding. Hold on, Check hold it on. Out. Have you turned around? There's a cameraman right there. You think I'm really. I, I'm really. Even better, we can show the kids how it's done. Do you really think? <laughs> Don't be shy. I'm incredibly shy. First of all, my makeup's already running it off. It is a little My steamy. hair is going flat. <laughs> and you're going to burn me in there, OK? Are you steaming vegetables or? Yes. So that was negated. Seriously. Are you saying this is not happening? This is definitely not happening. Okay, this is up. the most unromantic. I've never been so insulted. I'm out of here. If you That's were going to bake a potato, you can stay in here. This is incredible. So wow. beautiful. Here you go. This baby. is amazing. Chair, Madame. Thank you. Grazie. Thank you. It doesn't get better. Yeah. I mean, seriously. This is quite the night. Yeah. Excuse me, madam. Hello. For you, San Giovese. Let's give it a chance here. Okay. <laughs> I dare you. Taste it, Sylvester. <sighs> you call that one. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great. <laughs> the shower didn't work very well. And we moved on to a very, very romantic dinner. It's nerve wracking in the sense that it's almost like we're dating again. There's no one around, there's no paparazzi. And you look into that person's eyes and you know exactly why you love her. Well, here we are. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Grazie santi tanto. Okay, <laughs> whatever that means. Yeah, wow. This is beautiful. Beautiful wife, beautiful food. Makes me reminisce to the first time I saw you. All of a sudden, I see this light, <laughs> and you were coming closer and closer, and the hair <laughs> in the eyes. My big valley the, hair. The valley hair. <laughs> and blue eyeshadow. The smile. It just was seismic. It was woo, it's like mini earthquake, and I never got over that feeling. Aww. And here we are, and the earth's still moving. <laughs> 35 years later. When I look at you, I think it's the foundation. It's what holds it all together. Thank you. It's the truth. To me, it's the most important thing in life mm -hmm. is to have family and to have love. That's all I wanted in my whole life. I know we've been saying some flattering things, but I like to do like a Jennifer Love Celebration, a, a moment where the girls get involved, I get involved, and we celebrate you. That's beautiful. Thank you. OK. Yeah, I'm a little shy about that, but can we just make it, it a like, love family fest or no, no, something? No, no. It's a celebration of Jennifer. Will you Fred, show up, please? I will show up. You deserve it. I promise. I'll drink to that. See you at the celebration. <laughs> Where is it going to be? I need to know someone who's warmer than the sunshine. Could be that you're the one for me. You touch me deeper, darling. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Baby. While we're in Rome, I've been trying to dote on Jennifer and show her how much I love her because we've been here many times for work, but to vacation with Jennifer, this is something we rarely ever did. So I thought, why not rekindle our love in these romantic moments? True magic of the moonlight. <laughs> you give me everything I need. Need, need, need. Oh my God. Well, man, you Slide down there trying to belt out something. It's so sweet. Tonight. It was like a movie to me, but it couldn't have been a more perfect moment. I'm never going to give you up for someone else's love. <laughs> Never gonna let you go and lose oh, the one. Thank I love. you. Oh, well, tonight. What a great surprise. 
There's more of that coming. I asked my daughters, can you put together this love dinner at the end of our trip where we're going to celebrate your mother? And of course, they rallied. They said, Dad, sit back. We got this. And I can't be more excited. I love it. Bravo. Bye, love. Oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Go to bed. You look handsome. Your tie's a little short. I was going to keep it open. No, no, yeah, keep it open. What about the shirt? Tucked in or out? You need to tuck it in? Yeah, tuck it tuck in. in. Why is it out? Tuck it in. Because it's, it's cool. How is it? Here she comes. <gasps> she coming out. Mom! Hey! Hey! Oh, 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 my God. How nice she looks. You look so yeah. pretty. Oh, fantastic. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh. Jennifer walks out. My knees buckled. Perfection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know you're a beautiful baby. Thank you. I love you. She looked so radiant in her dress. I'm going, God. Jennifer, you, you always say I don't pull this chair out, so I'm ready now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm ready now. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Look oh, at this. Barf. My dad isn't exactly Rico Suave, but him pulling out a chair for my mom, I'm liking what I'm seeing, and I'm hoping he keeps it up. I'd like to say something. Oh. Darling, you don't get the credit you deserve, because without you guiding this family, going off the rails, this and that, you've held the family together, you gave it purpose and direction, you maintain your beauty and your sense of humor and your smile. And as I look over the eternal city, I have eternal love for you. Oh, thank you, my love. I'll never forget thank that. You. Oh my God. Bravo. Oh. Jennifer, her love. It's the sun in the morning, the moon at night. It's extraordinary. We've been in each other's lives for almost 36 years. Happy birthday. I have so many precious memories. Oh. True. But now, I must admit, I've fallen deeper in love than ever before. Oh. Cheers to us. Cheers. Cheers to mom and dad. I love you. Cheers. Look at all these beautiful children we made together. Crazy. <laughs> I know what I'm saying.